guys this is AR Outdoors and welcome back to a brand new video in this video we're out fishing for some crappie we're at Reed's spot today it's snowing pretty good Reed's been dropping down a little bit we're trying to get a spot figured out here he's been nailing them here so hopefully we'll get on some fish today but we'll probably just get set up quick this is uh, kind of around where they normally set up and there's definitely some fish down there so there's a lot of them down there coming right up off the bottom oh, he just hit me <laughs> if I catch enough fish today, I might even do a little catch and cook, so it's snowing pretty good out, but hopefully the fish are biting. We're kind of just dead sticking these decent, minnows. Decent little pike. Sweet. Good job. Thank you. Flag. On the sucker minnow. Oh, I'll go grab it. Too. There we go. Send him back down. Reads up next on the tip ups. There, it's almost there. Here we go. Okay, it's not as big as I thought. Dude. That's still a. It's still not a bad 25, fish. 25, 28 inch. He's thick too. Yeah. There we go. Reed's got a flag up right now. Unless it's just a. All right guys, I'm just hanging out inside the house for a second here, getting warmed up. I was kind of hole hopping around, and um, like I said, I'm sorry, it's kind of been all over the place, but we both just got a pike. We pretty much doubled up. I got that pike on my, um, I was dead sticking for crappie out there, kind of running around the different holes, and that pike hit it. I'm actually gonna eat that pike today. I wanted to do a panfish catch and cook, but we just, they have not been biting very well at all, so I'm gonna keep that pike. There's a ton of them in here, so. Um, I got one bluegill to take home that Reed caught, um, but so far we just have one bluegill and a pike for the catch and cook, so see if we can get a couple more panfish, but we at least got a couple fish to eat up today. I got a bass on Reed. Yeah. First bass for me this season on the ice. There we go. Awesome little blizzard largemouth bass. It's pretty sweet.
<laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Is he on? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the hell's going on? What happened? Is he line? Is he still on there? What the hell? Dude. It's just a small guy, but... Dude, that rod was just about gone. What the, <laughs> what the heck? I don't know if... Oh my yes, gosh. Yes. I don't know how that worked. I don't know, and then that rod or the reel was all messed up. Oh <laughs> Sweet. There you go. Oh, good thing we got over here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> right when you set the hook. Well, he's nice. Feel good? Well, yeah, he's, he could be hooked weird. I can't see in there. Ooh. Yeah, he's all right. Is that three or four now? At least yeah. three. Sweet. All right guys, we made it back home. I've got everything ready to do a little catch and cook here. Um, our main goal today was ca to catch some panfish for this catch and cook, but the pike were eating good today. Um, I even caught a bass, which was pretty sweet. Um, but we ended up keeping that pike. And then we've also got um, one crappie and one bluegill in there, but we're just gonna bake this tonight. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna fry it. I'm just using this oven style shore lunch. And uh, I just made this little sauce here. I can kind of put up on the screen what I used for that. But um, we're going to be making some fish tacos. Got a couple people to serve here tonight. What's up? Got Chaz, got Ty. What's up? Ty, want, Ty doesn't even want to eat this. He wants Taco Bell anyways. You are going to eat it though? My idea. I mean, I'll try it, yeah. But I don't know how good fish and red hot taste. He didn't see this thing. Ty doesn't know how good fish and red hot is going to taste. Fish and red hot is like fish and milk and, and yeah, eggs and bacon, milk and cereal. I'm you telling you, dude. I am telling you it. All right, you'll just have to see, Ty. But anyways, we're going to throw it. Uh, this is the batter here, um, the dry batter. And then you just throw it in this egg as the wet batter. I guess I could have used the red hot anyways. But I'll throw it in the egg quick, throw it in here. And then we'll put it in the oven for a little bit and make some little tacos out of it. Guys, I just pulled the food out. It actually looks really well. Um, it's crisping up pretty good. They said if you want it to be really crispy, just let it sit for about four or five minutes. As that food was in the oven, um, I prepared a couple things. Like I said, I had that sauce earlier, um, which looks good, but I also um, just took some avocados and made a little bit of guacamole. Got the three tortillas here set up um, for the tacos. And then, um, I don't know if I'm supposed to put cheese on these or not. I feel like cheese would be good on there, so I'm going to try it. And then just a little bit of lettuce. So we're going to make these up and uh, see if Ty likes the Franks with uh, with fish. Because supposedly that's not right in Ty's mind. So, Dude, do you know how to make fish tacos? What? This is not how you make fish tacos. Ty, for somebody that cooks a lot, like you, 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 must, you must be the expert on fish tacos. I am. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, never, never cooked fish, fish a day in his so. life. No, nah, dude. No, 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 Aiden. You're, you're, Aiden. You're wrong. Aiden, you're wrong. Here's Gordon Ramsay's son, Lord and Camsey. <laughs> Lord and Camsey. Lord and Camsey over here. All right, boys. Here you go. 
That's Chaz. no, that's Chaz's. There you go. Let's Wrap them up and give them a shot. I haven't even tried it yet. What, dude? You're like he's like nervous to try it. Honest, like an honest review here. It's kind of pretty good. Is it actually pretty good? I'm telling you, it's that's really better good. than I thought. Yeah. Like, would you rather have that than just like regular fish, and like Water fries or something? Or something? Just like fried wrap, fish, or yeah. just fried fish? Yeah, no, I'd rather have this. Yeah, probably this. Probably changes it up a little bit. Yeah, that's actually that's actually really good. <laughs> Demolish it, dude. You could add like some salsa or something to it, or pico, mm -hmm. whatever you, yeah, pico would be good. Honestly, you could do it however you like, but I just wanted to show you guys a simple way to make them. And I've never had fish tacos before, and it's actually really good. <laughs> All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a lot of fun to make. Um, getting out and doing catch and cooks are definitely a, a a cool change up if you don't do it very often which I don't honestly I don't keep fish very often so it's fun to do it and uh, change up your recipe a little bit and just uh, try something different so um, as you guys can tell the pan fish bite hasn't been the best lately um, but we'll be getting on some more fish here soon um, whether we're going after pike or walleye I'd like to do another couple trips if we can um, I'm down to make any type of video if you guys have some ideas just let me know um, so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to get out and learn some more and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.